technique. How did you feel about your conviction? Well, I knew that I would be convicted. Uh, the feelings, of course, I, I didn't appreciate it at all, but uh, I knew that it was a necessary step to bring people aware that uh, justice is just that much slanted. On Thursday night and Friday night, and you just got out in time, having gotten out this afternoon, there's some important meetings in the town. Could you tell us about it? Yes, I can. We uh, uh, have a couple of meetings in the black community. One is of the uh, Black uh, Citizens for Justice, Law and Order, which will probably be held, and I'm not sure, at uh, either the Urban League or uh, uh, the Lutheran Church. And uh, SNCC will also have an official meeting, which will probably be closed to news media, period. Uh, this would be Friday. Mm -hmm. And the other one will be Thursday? The, uh, yes, previously would, uh, will be Thursday, yes. Do you expect for Ernest McMillan and his bond to be brought up at these meetings? Yes, they will. Uh, um, we will discuss the bonds and, uh, and how we uh, tend to raise funds to uh, put him out uh, on the ground, rather. Look here, Ed Harris stated just earlier, and I realize this was his statement and not yours, if people keep rallying to the cause since Ernest and Matthew's conviction, Dallas will have the strongest black movement in the country. Uh, could you uh, address yourself to that statement? Well, uh, I would like to say that I'm happy he's energetically inclined uh, to feel this way. Uh, I would simply say that uh, any, 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 any progress uh, that is made uh, in the black area uh, also promotes progress to all the areas of uh, the population of Dallas. Uh, when the black man moves, the white man moves. Uh, we're both here in one system, and this system we're trying to uh, bring it to a level of uh, <clears throat> justice uh, for each and every individual in this system. There has been some complaint about the publicity that uh, this movement has received and so on, and it's been said that without it, perhaps the movement would die. Do you feel that way? Uh, I definitely know that without publicity, this movement would not die. Uh, whether people, uh, you know, it's a lot of money made off of publicity, and uh, this is uh, the news media's way of survival. So uh, we don't think that uh, uh, whether they cover our actions or not, uh, it wouldn't stop our movement, the only thing, it would definitely, um, I would say, slow it down, and that's about all I, I guess I would say on that. What about some of the uh, bad publicity, perhaps, that you feel you've received? Well, um, <clears throat> there are two sides to any bad publicity. Uh, I think um, some of the news media have overplayed uh, this bad publicity to a point that the communities began to look at both sides of it, and I think it really helps. Do you feel that uh, since you're in SNCC and it's, uh, according to its name, nonviolent, that you could be termed as a militant black, as has been called at times? Uh, definitely a militant movement, period. And we are militant in our ideals and steadfast in them. Now, when you say militant, does that differ from what some ideas of militant might be? It could. It could. What do you mean when you say militant? Um, well, I think every man possesses a certain amount of militancy. There are uh, convictions that he make uh, uh, of himself that he won't uh, deter from, he won't change. Uh, he feel that they are, um, are solid and he lives his life by these. Um, and this, to me, is militancy. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.
state sales tax goes up by a penny on the dollar, approximately, tomorrow. We say approximately because the brackets are being lowered on which the tax is collected. For example, the first penny was collected on an item costing 17 cents today. Tomorrow, that first penny will apply to an item costing 13 cents. And there's a similar change in the brackets all the way up the line. The automobile sales tax also will go up to 3% across the state of Texas, and the state franchise tax will be higher. The total effect is to bring in an additional $160 million for general appropriations. This money will be used to take care of the continuing rise in the cost of government, including a $50 million hike in welfare payments and other items. Perhaps the most noticeable single effect will be on selected items in vending machines. Purchases from machines costing 17 cents or more will be subject to the new tax. A spokesman said that vendors already had some price increases under consideration because of increased manufacturing costs, and the new tax will be considered in any adjustments being made. Probably the cost of some items in vending machines will go up by a nickel, but the specifics have not yet been worked out. Those most directly affected are the shoppers. We asked several of them for their opinions. Well, really, I have no opinion on it. I haven't investigated enough to know anything about it. One effect on the average citizen of this tax is that one more penny earned will not be a penny saved. This is Roger McDonald, Channel 8 News. I'd say that uh, many of the large uh, manufacturers, particularly those that sell uh, across the nation and uh, advertise in television and uh, major media, are getting involved in integrated advertising. Does this have a humanitarian purpose or is it strictly business? Well, I'd say it's a little of both. Uh, however, I think that uh, probably the business part of it is the most important at this time. And how does using an integrated commercial benefit business? Well, business is beginning to realize that the Negro market is large and it's growing, uh, more purchasing power. The Negroes are able to buy things today that they were not able to buy a number of years ago. If business can figure out a way to communicate effectively with Negroes, then I think there are substantial gains to be made economically. Have there been some repercussions the other way? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, perhaps in a few isolated cases, but it's surprising the uh, positive reactions from whites uh, when they view integrated advertisements. CA, yeah, you've been the, the real. I think that the thing that's been. Well, where well, there's any question as to whether or not the applicant is the sole owner of the establishment. Uh, there's been so much talk about the uh, jukebox and the coin machine company. I got with the Lick Control Board and the Police Department and Crime Commission, and we decided that perhaps that uh, we should, uh, where there's any doubt that one of these companies might own the establishment, that we better uh, have a good uh, record of it, and that's what brought it on. Each applicant comes in well, where there's any question of a loan from a uh, coin uh, machine operator, well, we make him uh, swear uh, to a written affidavit that he is the sole proprietor and owner of the establishment. Well, I don't care for it because one penny lead to another, and eventually to be higher than ever, to be 10, 15 cents later on. But I wish they'd do it that one cent sales tax. Does it upset you that we have another penny going on the sales tax tomorrow? It sure does. We have enough taxes now. We have more than enough taxes. Are you going to remember that when you go to the polls in November? You better believe it.
Bob, you ever have another penny going in the sales tax? No, not a bit. Uh, because it takes it all to go, and it just best go for one thing is another. So, and you think it means that it's better for America, a way of living, and I think it's all right.